bought a fogger today to um, see if I could grow mushrooms in this tote here. It's a transparent tote from Canadian Tire. Costs about seventeen dollars, and uh, it fits uh, my oyster mushrooms in here. And um, then the fogger just sits in the water in a tub of water. Here, I'll pull it out. That's what it looks like. The little black handle on it is the uh, the switch that turns on and off if uh, the water level gets too low. So it just sits in that bath of water and it creates a fog. Uh, quite a good fog. Um, and uh, I turn it on for 15 minutes and then off for 15 minutes or maybe a half hour. Let it dry out. And um, and then with the, with the high humidity like that, they should grow really fast. And um, the other thing I have to do is try to watch how much oxygen comes into the to the the tote here, because uh, if the CO2 builds up too much, the mushrooms will get leggy. And oh, well, this one here has long stems on it. This one here looks like it's going to be okay. I just need to make sure that it gets enough uh, air exchange so the CO2 escapes. Just uh, about a week ago, I took this bucket and uh, it already had gone through its first flush. So it's one of the kits uh, that uh, one of you guys have out there and uh, of that generation. And what I, I just removed all the dead um, mushrooms that were left on it and um, and then I uh, submerged it in water for 24 hours. Um, so the water, I put it in a, I put a, I filled a five gallon pail with water and let it sit for 24 hours so that it would uh, remove the chlorine. The chlorine would evaporate. And then I submerged the, this two and a half gallon bucket in the five gallon pail of water for 24 hours and so that what that does is it, it hydrates the uh, mycelium inside the bucket the straw and the mycelium that's inside this bucket and uh, kind of regenerates it and um, I put it in my closet for about four or five days and it started to pin again and then I put it out in the light and uh, I had it in the bag for about three or four days and that's how much it's grown like that in three or four days. So now I'm just moving it into this tote so that uh, we'll see how much better it does. I didn't like the plastic tent much because it was kind of a pain to um, keep away from the mushrooms and, uh, and try to spray the water in there. This way I can kind of automatic so I like that and so I just need to keep it in a room that's got some indirect light and the temperature is about 20 Celsius okay and um, yeah so happy growing I hope your mushrooms grow well thanks